You know how he does like one take and then it starts. Yeah. What's up, <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Jesse with the Bicycle Station, and today we are building Super Caliber Gen 2. I just unboxed and tore this bike down to the frame. I'm gonna get into the specifics of why I did that. One reason is so we can make a cool video. The second reason is I bought the 99XO version of this bike and it comes with uh, some lesser grade high-end parts that um, I'm gonna be putting on a different bike for a, a lot of the parts are gonna go on a different build. I'm gonna rebuild this bike with a lot of parts that I've been uh, collecting in anticipation of getting this bike in the mail. I've been excited about this bike since I saw the geometry chart drop uh, like a month ago. Um, I think this is gonna be a good one. One benefit of stripping it down, and this is gonna be a full thorough build video, by the way, so buckle in. We can wait. This is frame with, looks like we got the seat post collar, the axle, and this is actually now a floating brake mount. That's new for uh, the Gen 2 Super Caliber. 160 direct mount rotor, no 140s on this bike. You used to be able to put a 140 on the small and the medium. This is a medium large frame and it has a ton of paint on it. It's like a project one, but they didn't put project one on it. So I don't know, is it or is it not a project one? Oh man, the sun came out. I knew that was gonna happen. It's like a fish. I'm gonna call it 20, oh, oh, 2090. I don't know what the clan weight on this is, but um, I'm pretty sure that is a hundred gram lighter than the uh, previous Super Caliber that I had. Which you loved. That is one bike that I heard you say, I probably never want to get rid of this. The old Super Caliber? Yeah. Nah. No? Did I say that? I have a lot of opinions about the old Super Caliber. I've already done a lot of prep work on this bike. Literally unboxed a 9.9 XO bike here and we're rebuilding it into um a jesse build okay so that's what i was wondering if that would just happen should i go for a round two and see if it was a fluke or if that's just yeah go, i don't know if that's actually tubed or not so let's see uh, i would say that's tubed so they did something smart here the old bike used to have zip ties and now this bike is internal but it worked and so i'm happy push that through where's it going ah, can i grab it it's like hitting the pivot. There we go. Oh wait, no. Can somebody please just make wireless brakes already? Like this is getting crazy. How long until you think that happens? I don't know. Until somebody grows a pair. A pair of brakes. A pair of brakes. Don't worry about the batteries dying while you're going downhill. Just, no. it'll be fine. And now we can put the rest of the bike together. That was kind of the hardest part, right? It might not be. We don't know yet. We don't know what we're getting into. Got freaking grease everywhere. So this bike comes with a headset, but because I'm really picky about stuff, I am going to be installing a Cane Creek Hellbender 70 slam set in it. I uh, don't know why I care about this kind of thing, but I do. I just like have so many things in my hand right now. Okay, put that on first. One headset spacer, handlebar, handlebar thing, piece thing. Part one of top cap, part two of top cap. Woo! There you go. Sweet. It's my favorite handlebars. This is the Von Trigger RSL handlebar. I've owned myself probably like four or five of these things now and this is a 70 millimeter stem they've increased the reach of this bike by about 10 mils and so Increase the reach of this bike by about 10 millimeters. A uh, shorter stem, longer reach, slacker head tube angle, kind of the same old, same old of new bike. Every new bike is slacker and longer, you know? So gotta keep it consistent with everybody else. So I'm gonna talk about this fork in a second, but first I wanna tell everybody about our new e-commerce store, bicyclestation.com, or I guess shopbicyclestation.com. Everybody, if you have been enjoying these videos, this is not just a YouTube channel, it is a full-fledged bike shop. And we've been working our 
butts off to get this website up and running and it works now. You can literally order stuff directly from us and we'll ship it to you. Click the link below and check it out. Dang it, Jesse. It's thebicyclestation.com. You should, did you film yourself saying that? Thebicyclestation.com. Looks good though. You know what I like about Cane Creek? What? The way that their stuff looks. Well, it matches the RSL vibe. I really like it a lot. I always like really spend a lot of time lining the logos up. This is a 9.9 Super Caliber Gen 2. There's three 9.9 Super Caliber Gen 2s. There is the XXSL. There is the XTR and there is the XO. This is the XO build. I bought the XO because it comes with the big fork. It comes with the SID Ultimate. The XTR build comes with a Fox 32 or 34, I actually don't remember. And the XXSL build comes with the SID SL, the 32 stanchion fork. I wanted the 35 stanchion fork, so I bought the cheaper one and it's still a 9.9, but it comes with XO and the SRAM suspension. The XXSL version of this bike kind of is like a hodgepodge. It comes with like a Fox dropper. It comes with the just the lightest stuff Trek could physically put on the bike. This one actually comes with the Axis Reverb. I did swap it out for a shorter drop, but that's just me. And yeah, that is something I want to point out to everybody because I've already sold a couple of these and people were confused about what forks they were gonna get in the mail. And just so everybody's clear, take a look and see what fork you're getting whenever you order this bike. They're all 110 travel, but this is the Thick Boy. And if you want the Thick Boy, make sure you buy the XO bike. I know we bought the XO bike, but we are going to be putting XXSL with a power meter. One of the most disappointing things is that the XXSL model of this bike does not come with a power meter. I think that was just kind of like a weird spec choice from Trek on an otherwise really cool build kit. If you want these awesome looking new tires, you need to make sure you buy the XO bike this is the new, very torn on, okay. I don't know if Trek's gonna keep Bontrager around as a brand. And so to me, like this doesn't say Bontrager on it. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and say these are Trek branded tires and not Bontrager branded tires. Who, uh, if you know what's going on with Bontrager, please comment below. But these are the new St. Anne RSL 29 by 2.4 tires. You cannot buy these tires. They're exclusively only available on the Trek Super Caliber right now. You have to buy a Super Caliber to get these tires. If you buy the XXSL bike, it comes with 2.2s and I wouldn't want that. So again, if you want the 2.4 version of this awesome looking tire, uh, definitely go with the XO build. Um, it, on, it reminds me of kind of like a Schwab looking tire and uh, I am gonna weigh this. Let's see how heavy these are. 780 grams on our scale. I would say that's pretty, um, I would drop to 770. 770, I apologize. We're gonna be mounting these tires to my well-used Kobe RSL wheel set. I've had this wheel set for a while. Ever since the day these came out, I've had them. So whatever, however long that's been. We're gonna do an install. We just were debating the logo lining up. Look at that. Look at that. I've never seen better logo placement than this. <laughs> It's good. It's real good. It's, yeah. it's, it's almost like the same company made this. RSL, RSL. This makes me so happy. I'm, I, I, I honestly am really excited about this. Like I'm not just making a video about it. I'm like legit excited. Look at how freaking perfect that is. I don't think that's ever happened before. Every other company do this. This is awesome. Always therapeutic therapeutic to install these bottle cages i just pulled these off another bike this is probably the 10th or 12th bike that these have been on uh trusty old silka titanium and uh, we went with black on this bike good choice. good choice so the silka bottle cages where would somebody buy something like that funny you ask uh drop the bicycle station.com click the link below right now looking good so far to celebrate the launch of our new website we will be giving away this prize package which includes a bontrager rsl handlebar shop hat and shop bottle all you have to do to enter is subscribe to the channel like this video and leave a comment below we will be picking one winner by september 30th and announcing the winner on october 1st via 
via our Instagram account. Thank you to everyone for supporting us so far. Um, we've been working really, really hard on this website and are really excited to show it off to all y'all. Let us know what you think. And remember, to enter the giveaway, all you gotta do is be subscribed, like this video, and leave a comment down below. We gotta set all this up so that we can cut the hoses to the right length. I, uh, I've said this many times, but I really like four piston brakes and that's what we're going with. So the stock brakes that came in this bike, um, I will not be using. We will be using four piston tram level ultimate brakes that even uh, match, honestly. The one thing with this new bike is it no longer has knock block, so you can smash your frame with your handlebar. So what I'm doing is just measuring the bend in the hose to see like how short I can cut it without it pulling out. And I think right there. Uh... <laughs> we we doing brake jobs in the outdoors. Can you see me better? Look at that. Litter. Litter. Find me. Literally. Find me right now. Call the cops. Call them. <laughs> Just two dudes building a super caliber. They come up. Hey. Y'all are littering. Y'all litter. One thing I'm really picky about is like the cable routing, especially on a bike with this many cables. So the first one I always do is the rear brake and then the two lockouts, you start to kind of think about it. Okay, so this is the housing for the front fork lockout. The rear brake is gonna go this way and actually be above, do you see that? It's actually gonna be above the front uh, lockout, the rear lockout is going to be above it. So why do they ship it where I have to switch the cables out because the shorter cable is now running to the rear shock and the longer cable is running to the front shock. Just got to kind of swap these out really quick so you can get better cable alignment. Um, if you want to do this at home, I'd highly recommend paying attention to this because it, it can make a bike that is going to have a lot of hoses sticking out look a lot better. And it, it makes it faster. It's more aero. <laughs> uh, it might be. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. So yeah, now there's the, the front. And let's put the back back in. Or just buy flight attendant whenever it comes out. And you can never do this. Pay to win. Pay to win. Pay to win. So I'm routing the rear suspension lockout and this is just open in here, which is kind of cool. I can like stick my whole hand in there almost. But there's a, they, they did cut a slot for the cable. So I'm just gonna find it. There it is. Can I aim it through there? Should be able to, yeah. There we go. Pretty easy to work on so far. I'm, I'm, I'm like getting more and more excited about this bike. We haven't touched the elephant in the room yet, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Let's see how we did with our measurement. The goal is aesthetic. Um, functionally, it doesn't matter, and you can have your bike look bad, but we're uh, putting the extra work in to try to make this thing look awesome. How do we do? Mm, no, it's too long. Or, yeah, it's a little too long. I was kind of hoping they'd sit pretty much the same, and they do, but I'm gonna cut a little bit more off really quick. Pretty good. You can even tape that together if you wanted to, but I don't think you really need to. Just paying attention to detail and you can achieve a cool aesthetic on a bike with a lot of cables. Pressfit 92. Pressfit's coming back. Pressfit's coming back! Let's go! Um, we have a BB Infinite dub Pressfit bottom bracket and a lot of little the bobs to install it. It has an arrow in it, so you can't screw it up. Although I'm curious what would happen if you like did it the wrong way. What do you think would happen? 
It doesn't matter, it's press fit, it's perfect. It's perfect. I already checked and made sure the cable is out of the way. Why did they use a press fit bottom bracket? The press fit bottom bracket is lighter than the, not significantly, but it is lighter than the uh, threaded bottom bracket. I think Trek is cognizant of the fact that this is not the lightest bike on the market. You're not even close to the lightest bike on the market. And I'm not gonna beat them up over that fact because I think this bike is really cool. I think that's why. Dang it. Getting it in halfway is easy. Getting it in all the way is like, you wanna make sure you don't screw that up. Woo, shoes. There we go. Whatever that noise was made was the it's working noise. Press foot, press foot. Press foot. That was the noise from the, the tool, so don't stress. What, did, what happened there? What is that? It's like inside of the shell. carbon. I bet I pushed some of the carbon dust through. It's not sticking out of the frame. Press fit. <laughs> That's press fit. I popped the bearing out of there really quick just to check and I was right. There was nothing wrong. When this pushed through, it took some dust with it and the dust wrapped around the shell. Everything's perfect now. So we're going to put this back in. Everything's good. There we go. Press fit. Imagine if that was threaded. Oh, it'd be so boring. That's a really big press fit, boy. We just pressed in. That'd be spinning. Infinitely. Well, honestly, like I've had some issues where the quality control on these press fits were not good. And I think everybody could probably say the same thing, but this one's spinning. That's a spinning. We just pulled the chain ring off of this power meter and this is a 38 tooth chain ring. This bike is optimized for a 36 and a 38 tooth chain ring and I, I'm gonna say something that if I'm wrong, please roast me in the comments, but I'm just repeating what Trek put out in the world is that the they increased the anti-squad on this bike to where it actually the suspension works better with a better chain ring. So to me, that is really smart because XC Lycra nerds are gonna wanna put a big chain ring on their bike. And this is the most nerdy XC Lycra bike that exists. So um, I'm gonna say, yeah, good job, Trek. Smart. Thank you for making a cool bike. I've really enjoyed this so far. Titan. Okay. I'm gonna have to run inside and get a torque wrench. Building bikes outside is super fun. Other than you have to always go inside and get your tools that you left inside. We didn't think about that. It's like life, man. Life. Dang. It spins though. Like normally I like that, that works. That's really good. Dang. Everything's working on this bike so far. It's kind of weird. <laughs> like, that's real good. It's like rocking. It's gonna weigh like 28 pounds and then be like the most disappointing thing ever, right? 24. 24.3, that's my. I really my... hope it's 23. I really do. We wanna cut the chain to 120 links. And the setup key was uh, A, so we're gonna. I mean, I guess this is the last part of the bike or one of the last parts of the bike here. This is just like a bow and arrow, y'all. We shooting. I don't know. Boom. Jared, what are you getting into? I really hope we're 23 pounds on this. Oh, they did it. 23 and a half. I'd say they did it. I'm happy. It's a sweet bike. The back of the bike almost feels too stiff, but maybe it'll break in a little bit. It feels like a Super Caliber, I can tell you that. Super Caliber Gen 2 build done. Pretty excited to try this bike out. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content about this bike. We will be doing a review and some impressions of it. Check out our new e-commerce website if you want to enter the giveaway again. Subscribe to the channel, comment on this video, and like this video is how you enter. We will be announcing that at the end of the month. Thanks for all the support and tuning in. Uh, appreciate it.